Well, to get to the gist of it, I started thinking about drugs in the upper United States versus the lower United States. And I have a thesis, I have a theory that in America, we have recreational drugs, but no history of it. For some reason, I think we need to research this. this is what I mean. Is it that early American settlers came across Indians, and here the Indians, as they're like hanging out by the campfire, laying back, looking at the clouds, high on something, whether it's mushrooms, peyote, marijuana, uh, all kinds of, <laughs> you know, things they could come in South America, even more so. So the further south you go, the more lush it is, and you have more exotic and, may, and, and maybe more potent hallucinogenics, even hallucinogenics. And so down there, below the United States, Mexico, even starting in Mexico, the, the people are not into drugs, right? As much as America's per capita. I mean, I just have this theory that it's not a thing to them. It's part of their life. It goes, it's in their DNA. It's a, they're around it. They, they walk among it. In America, it's uh, in North America, as opposed to South of America, America. And I think we need to have that designation or, do, you know, say the United States of America. It's not North America. Mexico, there's sort of like this uh, Central to Southern America, and they have really good drugs. And I thought that would be a good study, right? Um in America, we don't have a history of the early Amer at least I've never seen it. Where did they have like drug cultures back then? Were there cities going, oh my God, we've got a bunch of hippies? They're smoking and that Indian stuff, and they they're drinking that stuff they put in the water, the Indian water. Who are the whose kids are those? We need to stop this. Or was it just cool? Like maybe like the way I imagine the Indians were in North America, just hanging out and watching the clouds go by. Uh, I know everybody's going to laugh at me. Like, I don't know that there was like tribal violence or intra-tribal violence, extra-tribal violence. They, fought, they had little squabbles with each other and apparently they were, well, they were savages, you know. And that's just, that's the difference right there. Because we were like walking forward with one shot in the gun or one sword. It was always, uh, you know, line, line up, you know, like a football game. You got a line against a line. You got a captain. You got people in the background, people doing fancy stuff. And killing each other. <laughs> but they, and then, and so it was very civilized. You could say that was pretty civilized. They, it, they played it like a game of chess. Hey, what's your chess move, General? Aha, here's mine. 